Friends, each year during the season of Lent, or I should say on Ash Wednesday, did you know we have the same reading every year on Ash Wednesday? The book of Prophet Joel speaks to us, calling the assembly of people to repent, to fast, to pray. That's what you hear in today's first reading. The assembly of the Israelites gathered together. They fast, they pray. Even those who normally would have an exception, like the children, like the elders, like the married couple. But on this day, all the people gather. The assembly of people gather they fast and they pray. They call upon the Lord, crying, Spare us, O Lord, or spare your people, O Lord. And the Lord relents. And the Lord relents. He hears the cry of the Israelites. That's what it, is. That's what it was for the Israelites, what it meant to them, to return to God, to come back to God. The season of Lent, the Ash Wednesday, calls us to return to the Lord. <clears throat> what does sin do? Sin distances us from God. Sin takes us away from God. But repentance brings us back to God. Repentance brings us back to God. Repentance helps us to turn toward God. Sin helps, makes us turn away from God. Repentance turn toward God. So that's what the church really wants us to do as we begin this holy season of Lent, to turn toward God. And the Israelites are a great example on how they turn toward God through repentance, fasting, and praying. Because when you pray to God, when you repent, when you turn toward God, God will hear your cry. God will hear your voice. There is hope when we pray to God. Because the one we are turning to is the one who has created us. He's the one who wants to walk with us. He's the one who wants to see our joy, our happiness. Secondly, because he is God and we are not. And he, despite being God, became man, became one of us, one like us, so that he could understand human weakness. He could understand human turning away from God so that he, can, he could bring us back to himself. He became man, God, man in Jesus Christ. Again, there is hope because the one we are turning to is a merciful God. Our response this evening said, Have mercy on us, Lord, for we have sinned. So, when we cry out, the Lord, who is a merciful Father, hears our voice. We know that there is hope in this situation as we begin this season of Lent because the one to whom we are turning to knows everything, knows our good, knows our bad, knows our holiness, knows our sinfulness. So we go to him because he already knows us. He just wants to hear us because he respects human freedom. And in that freedom, he hopes that we will hear his voice. Hear his voice 
in our conscience and turn toward Him through repentance, through fasting, through putting on the ashes, which is a sign of humility and reminding us that we are dust and unto dust we shall return. Reminding us to repent and believe in the gospel. So friends, as we begin this great season of Lent, like the Israelites that turn toward God, let us turn toward God. We have turned away from God, maybe we have distanced, we've been away from church for a long time. The Lord gives no account of that wrong, provided we come in humility this evening with the disposition of our heart wanting to repent and return to God in humility, in simplicity, and in honesty and truthfulness. So let us bring all of it before Jesus this day. Let us begin this new journey in the season of Lent. Let us walk to the mountain of the Lord. Let us walk toward heaven, our eternal goal, the new Jerusalem. And these steps we take from this moment forward will help us get there. This, the fasting that we'll engage ourselves in, the almsgiving, works of mercy and charity that we will engage ourselves in, the time of prayer that we will spend much more than we have done in the past, is going to get us there, to the mountain of the Lord. We know not the day, not the hour when that will ha happen. While our body will be put to rest, dust we are, and to dust we shall return. The soul has to be united with God. And that's our longing. That's what we look forward to. May this journey, as we turn toward God, may all the distractions that will come our way, may we have that strength, that courage, that fortitude through prayer, fasting, May we overcome those obstacles. The church is here for you, to help you, to support you on this journey. And I want to walk with you. God wants to walk with you. Forget me. God wants to walk with you because He's a loving God. He wants to hold your hand. He's a creator. He's a God. He's merciful. He knows everything. He wants to walk with you. Are you ready to walk with God? On this journey, you begin today, on this Ash Wednesday, the 26th of February, 2020? Yes. Kind of? Yes. Let's hear it again. Are you ready to walk this journey, the 40 days of Lent, through fasting and prayer, through devotion to the Eucharist, and your personal devotion in prayer, Yes. I love it. God loves it. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit.